Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel Duo Navigate. My name is James. I'm Jill. And we are in Cozumel. Cozumel. It uh, is day three? Yeah, I think it's day three. And you kind of lose track of your days. and We're on Liberty of the Seas out of Galveston, Texas. But this is day three of our cruise vacation. Time what are we to doing today? Well, first we're going to get some breakfast so I can wake up a little bit because I'm still kind of tired. Yeah, I gotta it's get 8 a.m. I got to get some coffee. Yeah, we, we set an alarm on vacation, so. Yep, but we wanted to get up early so that we can go where? To Nachikakom. Nachikakom, yeah. We're going to have a relaxing day at a private beach club that only lets about 120 people in a day, so. Yeah, right now with, uh, with the uh, everything going on in the world, They've lowered their amount. I think they were originally let like 200 people in, but it's nowhere near as busy as uh, Mr. Sancho's. So, you know, they're much more chill, laid back. Uh, it's an all-inclusive beach club. Uh, drinks, food. Pool. Pool. Beach. beach everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we'll get back with you guys uh, while we're at breakfast. Right, bye. bye. All right, guys, just got done with breakfast. Good service. Omelets are amazing. Yeah, the omelets are really good today. I liked breakfast. Yeah, omelets are really good. Probably over our one or better breakfast that we've had on board since uh, we've been on the ship. Excuse us. So yeah, had some uh, good breakfast. Now we're gonna go run back to the room. Grab our beach bags, and then it's off the ship for Cozumel. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, just got off the ship in Cozumel. There we are, Liberty of the Seas. Guess what's parked next to us? The Allure of the Seas. Ooh, look at her. Yep, she's definitely bigger than us. <laughs> the Lure of the Seas is one of the Oasis class ships. She'll be in Galveston. You can book her already. She'll be in Galveston November of next year. So it's one of the Oasis class ships. Holds a lot more people than we do. But we're the two that are here so far today. Uh, looks like the other port is still empty. Or the other dock is still empty here at Cozumel. So it's just us and the Allure here in Cozumel so far, but it's still early. It's, uh, what time is it so far, babe? Uh, nine, almost 9.30. 9.30, so we're being a little lazy getting off the boat, but we're on the way to Nachi Kakom. Uh, we're gonna walk through the port. We'll show you our little journey here. There she is, there's the Allure. And we will see you guys on the other side of the port. But uh, excited, beach day, relaxation. All right guys, bye. Real quick, look at that sexy booty, Liberty of the Seas, oh yeah. All right guys, as you're walking through, just go a little bit to the left and straight on till morning, head out to the taxi stands. You'll see a bunch of signs for them. I'll show you what those signs look for look like so that you can get to Nachi. Here's what the signs look like. That's what we're looking for. See the signs here? Taxis, straight ahead. Alright guys, in the taxi, that was fast. Headed for Nachi Kakom. Nachi Kakom. Okay. Yes. Hey, Here we are, guys, getting checked in at Nachi Kakom. So excited. So for reservations at Nachi, you pay a deposit, and then when you get checked in, this nice young, this nice lady is going to take the rest of your payment. They do a temperature check when you come in to make sure that everything is copacetic, that you're healthy. We love it. Take you straight out to the beach. Check out this amazing beach. Get a little tour. Oh. 
beautiful sand, beautiful water, right here in the shade. That's what I'm talking about. We'll give you guys a tour of everything else in a few minutes. Hey guys, laying on the beach at Machi Krakon. Super chill. It's like nobody here. Probably like 20 people on the beach. A few more up at the pool. Water super calm. This is my kind of beach day. Relaxing. Let's check out that beach for you. Oh, bam, check that out. Super chill. Like I said, water's calm. Drinks are good. Service is amazing. One of our servers hanging up behind me. Looks like it's time for round two. Uh, we'll hit you guys up when we get the uh, lunch menu. Let you take a gander at it. And uh, when we do anything fun, when we get up to the pool, we'll take a tour. Talk to you soon. Do a little pool spin. Check out this amazing pool. This is amazing, guys. Check this pool out. Swim up bar. How's the wet? How's the temperature? Awesome. We're gonna jump in the pool. Hit that swim up bar. See you guys in a little bit. Just uh, got the menu. We're gonna take a gander here. All this food is included. So we got some appetizers. Absolutely, we're gonna order. Thank you, sir. So yeah, we just ordered some ceviche and uh, guacamole. And uh, I mean, we're in Mexico. Everybody tells us the ceviche and uh, is a must-have here. Uh, Jill's over there fighting a losing battle with the sand, so yep. uh, we're on a beach. I don't think she's gonna win. Um, but uh, now we have to figure out what we're gonna do for lunch itself. I'm thinking like quesadillas or enchiladas, fajitas, something like that. I mean, when in Mexico, right? Uh, let Jill take a gander. Uh, but yeah, quesadillas for me. What do you think, Ben? I agree. I think quesadillas just sound yummy. Yeah. I mean, kind of easy to eat on the beach. Yeah, we're here all day. Easy hand foods. Yeah. Uh, suggest you bring some like hand sanitizer in your bag, so that I mean. You're on the beach. <laughs> Bring towels from the ship. Oh yeah. You don't. I thought you could get towels once you got off the ship, and you don't. So make sure to get the towels before you actually leave the ship. Yeah, it's not like uh, Disney or some of the other cruise lines that have like the towel station right before you get off the ship. So uh, make sure to go up on uh, deck 11 and get your towels before you <laughs> go downstairs. So yeah, we missed the boat on that one. <laughs> We'll see you guys when our food gets here. Bye. All right, guys, we just got our first course. We got some uh, mixed ceviche, seafood ceviche, and we got some guacamole. Tell me all about it, babe. What's it look like? Oh, gosh, it looks so good. I've never had ceviche before, so it looks good. Ooh, chips look nice and fresh. Look at Ooh. that ceviche, guys. Gosh, it looks good. Mm. Guacamole, little pico. Jill can have all the pico she wants. <laughs> You're chips. not a pico fan. I am not a pico fan. <laughs> Let's get Jill's first impression on that first bite of that guac. Well, let's see what it's like. Very fresh. Can taste a little bit of the acidity from the tomatoes. Very refreshing. Ooh, you can tell the chips are 
made in house, they're very crisp. Mm, perfect for a beach day. All right, so I'm gonna go in for a bite of this ceviche. Get some of this on there. This is my first time with ceviche also. There you go, a little shrimp and octopus there. Got some shrimp and octopus <laughs> on there, check that bite out. Mm. Got that lime, some freshness, mm. nice and tender, <laughs> super fresh, perfect for a hot day out by the beach. Mm. It's so good. Octopus is very tender. Super tender. <laughs> what do you think of your first time trying ceviche? Octopus is extremely tender. I don't know what to expect because I've never had it. I get that lime taste definitely right off. It's good. It's refreshing. I'm a big fan now. <laughs> Alright guys, we already showed you what the beach looks like. I already did that. We already showed you what the beach looks like. Here's the pier. This is where, the, if you do any of the tours, like the uh, glass bottom boat or the banana boats, this is where they will launch from. Those are extra costs not included here at Nachi. We'll walk over by the restaurant and stuff, take you a little walkabout. Kind of convenient right by uh, all the stairs, like to go up to the restaurant and stuff. They've got a little spot to wash your feet. Ooh, let's not fall walking up the stairs. Here's the restaurant at Nachi. It's got a nice palapa, palapa roof. The restaurant, fan is going, keep you nice and cool. Bar over there, it's also a swim up bar on the other side. I'll show you that a little bit. Got a little uh, games to keep you occupied. I got some souvenirs. Restrooms over here. This is a souvenir shop. Hello. Hello. Souvenir changing rooms. Little shower area. Rinse off after day on the beach. There's the pier. Let's go check out the pool area. That's what everybody wants to see anyway. It's super not crowded. It's the best part about here. Excellent service staff. Been taking care of us all day. There's our bartenders keeping us uh, keeping us well into the libations. Go check out the pool area. It's a hot tub. Check out this pool. Huge pool. Once it said not very crowded. Swim up bar. Go over here. <laughs> Hello, you too. <laughs> you always meet such nice people when you're in the Caribbean. Everybody's in way better mood when they're on beach. A little map of where we're going here. Oh, man, the sand is so soft, too. There's the massage center for Nachi Kakon. Another restroom area over there. More showers. Another bar if they were busier. But man, look how empty it is today. There's two big ships in port too. Us and the Allure. The coconuts up in the tree. Uh, in case you're curious, down there, you see where that stuff is? That is Mr. Sancho's. Like I said, not real busy. I mean, kind of 
feels like you got the beach to yourself. I mean, as you can see. A little beach spin here. Not busy at all. As soon as you get here, your guy will take you straight out to a palapa with chairs, a couple of tables. Water is amazing. I mean, this is the life right here. Nachi Kakon. How can you not love it? I mean, last thing you do. Gotta get in the water, right? Oh, it's so warm, too. This is October. I mean, the water's probably 75, 80 degrees down here. This is amazing. Food's included, drinks are included. Tip extra if you like. We'll see you guys later. All right guys, we're done at Nachi Kakom. We're on the way back, got a taxi with some nice people that we met from Tennessee, Rick and Donna. Say hi, Donna. Hey. Uh, do a navigate, we're done for the day. Uh, we're headed back, uh, $17 each way for the taxi and uh, we're headed back to the International Pier. That's where Royal Caribbean is docked, both the Allure and the uh, Liberty of the Seas. Almost forgot which boat yeah, we were on. Which boat we were gonna be on. But it was an amazing day. Oh, go if you can, so relaxing. Yeah, really good drinks, really good food. It was amazing. So, for $150 for the day. It was worth every penny. All you can drink, eat, beach, pool. Oh, it was great. All right. Uh, we, all right, guys, like we were saying, on the way back from Nachi Kakong, had a little battery issue. Uh, $17 each way for the, uh, the taxi. It's up one to four people. Uh, food was amazing. Drinks were amazing. Try the ceviche if you go there. Very good. Yeah, the ceviche is amazing. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching uh, our uh, Nachi Kakong video. If you got value out of it, hit the thumbs up uh, button. Yeah, and subscribe, please. Um, so we yeah. will see you at dinner tonight. It's Giovanni's night, our night two for specialty dining. Yeah, if you uh, want we love to love Italian food, <coughs> take you with us. Yeah, continue watching our uh, series on Liberty of the Seas. We'll see you guys later. See you Bye. dinner.